So before I will get into the video, I want to show you some footage of how I was feeling the last few days. Then I feel like in middle school, where I didn't want to go the next day, I only indulged in bad habits and I feel shitty. So why should you want to wake up the next day and start your day? Look at that. Here's a spot. Here, here. Look at my face, it's fucking fat. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so ready for January. No, my body is not, but my mind is. Because I can't stand this anymore. It's like going back to your old version and you don't want to do that. But that's exactly what I'm doing. I hope this will pay off, otherwise I don't know why I did it. <laughs> oh, fuck me. One night after the video, yesterday's video, look, look how fat I am. I feel so disgusting, look at my eyes, I don't know, I'm tired, of, I feel disgusting, look at that face, ah, I'm so close to break, so close uh, in terms of breaking that challenge, so the body transformation I want to do for you guys, but I probably need to stick to my plans, but it's hard, it's hard, so comfort is killing me, ah, 20, 20 days to go until I can diet down and I look so forward to that because it's, it's not a good life man it's not a good life I struggle with eating oh, I'm constantly full um, no energy no energy to work out my mental energy is also terrible I don't know any longer uh, every day is a battle but it's a sacrifice and I think I need to do that because I really want to make that uh, six month transformation from fat and ugly to fit and to an MMA fighter so let's stick to our plans and let's do it but it's hard so seek discomfort and not comfort so it pays off to be disciplined really it does living like a degenerate playing some Xbox FIFA also eating some Nutella and salmon bread the only healthy thing I'm having is a tea, so I don't know how this life was so enjoyable, but I used to live like that, and this month uh, I'm living like a total degenerate. But uh, I'm looking so forward for next year. I try to enjoy it, but it's not, not really fun for me anymore. Not like it used to be. Damn, it's 11, 11 p.m. I cannot fucking sleep. I wasn't working out today, I feel... I have energy left in my body and yeah, I feel like yeah, I was watching some series in the evening. I only went to the sauna, otherwise yeah, I was working, but otherwise I wasn't doing so much. So yeah, I can feel that. I feel that my body isn't really needed, therefore I have still a lot of energy left that I could use, but because I need a break or I do a break because of that project, but yeah, it's... I hate it, honestly. I just want to feel good again. <laughs> if you haven't seen my about 2023 video, you won't understand what I'm currently doing. So I'm currently indulging into bad habits. I'm also gaining a lot of weight, mainly fat, because I want to start on the 2nd of January my transformation on how to become a MMA fighter. So I want to start a MMA career of 24 years of age. I will see how that will turn out, but more details on the 2nd of January about that. But the goal is to gain 80 kilograms by the end of the year. So really letting myself go, gaining a lot of fat, indulging into bad habits, so that you see the difference of how I'm looking and also how I'm feeling. So I will document the whole thing, how I'm starting to feel better and that stuff next year. But for now, I want to give you an update of how I'm currently feeling. So you saw it a little bit in the video footage, so I couldn't sleep last night, so that was the last footage. Because I felt so full and also not really tired, because I was laying around in bed for most of the time. I was still feeling a little bit fit because I was only working that day and no workout. I only played tennis, but that wasn't so hard, so I really realized that if you eat more calories than you need, your body warms up and therefore you have too warm most of the time and that's not really beneficial. But yeah, the only good thing is that it's freezing actually outside, so minus degrees. But 
inside I still have too warm. I also realized that I currently don't really live, I would say, because if you indulge into things like gaming, watching TV or watching some series, um, only eating, you don't really feel alive because you live in your comfort zone and that doesn't feel good to me. And especially if you go back to an older version of yourself, so that was the version of me four or five years back, I can't really enjoy that because I know I let myself go and that normally shouldn't feel right or shouldn't feel good in that sense. So I even had a point where I thought I couldn't do this any longer because every day when I wake up I don't really want to go outside because I don't feel well. You see it on my face. I also can show you the difference of how I was looking in summer. I will show a picture there. I think I've gained now around 11 kilograms and most of that is really fat because I haven't worked out since two weeks or now maybe three weeks and most of the kilograms I've gained comes from that period so I think the last three weeks I've gained four kilograms and that's really just fat. So for me it's not a problem to gain fat because currently I'm eating like 3500 to 4000 calories but I only have 2 kilograms left until the end of December so I will make that and then I can start live again. So don't try this at home, <laughs> live with better habits and live a healthy lifestyle. I only do this because of the project I have next year. I think it makes more sense afterwards than it does currently, so in half a year or in a year you will see why I did that. And if you want to join me next year to make the best version of yourself, that's the biggest goal I've set for next year to be a better version and I will document everything so what I've learned in the process, what I've learned in the past about that, about transforming yourself, I will document everything and maybe someone out there can take anything from that and then my goal is achieved. So I think we will see us in the next video, that's everything I wanted to say. I think the last video of 2022 is the next one, so probably a review of my goals I've set last year and maybe about the goals of next year. So see you there.